When we left off after our last episode, the evil Madison, after teaching fellow inmates to swim, was released from prison on good behavior. She vowed revenge on the man who put her behind bars, Captain, Captain Stoplight. Stoplight. And so she decided to make it personal by going after Stoplight's buxom virgin fiance, Susie, while she played in the park with an orphan boy. And now we resume our story with episode 9 of Captain Stoplight and Be My. A few more minutes. Hurry. Her life is in peril. Be My. Golly, Mr. Norm, how much longer is it going to take to find that dastardly Madison Ferenga? I already asked him that. Keep up with us, Beam Boy. Be My. Oh, gee, Willikers, how could someone be that evil? She wasn't always evil. No, she wasn't. She was once a brilliant, solo-synchronized swimmer, but was unjustly disqualified from the Olympics for exposing her shoulder. She sought revenge on the judges and the seamstress. Now she swims with the inmates behind bars. Or rather, she did. I got something. What is it, Mr. Norris? I think... Uh... Oh, darn, she's interrupting the signal. Uh, wait, I'm getting a message on the crimulator. <laughs> You'll never see your precious Susie Ann. <laughs> oh, help me, Captain Stoplight! Help me! Save me! Please save me! <laughs> <laughs> Did we lose tracking, Mr. Long? Oh, I think so, but, but I did spot the rare machnidotriosis in the background. What's a rare machnidotriosis? It's a rare plant that only grows in Newfoundland. Golly, so she's in Newfoundland? No, silly boy. Only three regions in the world have preservation houses for them, and I know where one is. Captain Stoplight, is that one of Madison's henchmen? I believe it is, Beam Boy. Beam Boy! Let's get him! I'll never tell. I'll let me have it, Cap. No, we'll settle this without violence. Hit him with a truth beam. Where is she? She's at the maze of death. That's what I want to know. She's going to explode in 33 minutes, 4 seconds, 3 seconds, 2 seconds. <laughs> Faringa, your scheme ends here. The only thing that ends here is you, Captain Stoplight, and your dimwit sidekick, B 
Beam Boy. Beam Boy. Don't be distracted, Beam Boy. There are two of us and only one of her. <laughs> Captain Stoplight, it's not working! That's because he only has one eye. Depth perception is vital to its effect. So what do we do? Double whammy. It's our only hope! You said no violence! This is self-defense! Get him, Cyclops! Will our heroes escape in time? Will Susie be blown to bits? Will Madison get away with her evil deeds? Come to the same theater at the exact same time next week for Captain Spotlight and Beam Boy!